Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I am so sorry I've been MIA, but I'm back and I'm back with a very exciting video. So I thrifted this men's shirt for $2.50. This shirt was gorgeous. It had this tiny stripes that were so beautiful and from afar it just seems like a single nude color. And I was so impressed by this and the material of it was super, super soft. So I decided I'd turn this beautiful shirt into a mini shirt dress. And this is what that came out looking. I am so in love with how this turned out so I'm going to be going on vacation in a few weeks and I decided I DIY some things here and there instead of spending a fortune I'm just gonna make some cute stuff to wear so I'm going to be saving money but still looking cute and I'm always here for that so yeah this dress is super cute the sharing is super easy to do and this literally took me about I'd say four hours if I'm being honest so yeah in case you want to make your very own dress let's get right into it First things first, you're going to take your seam ripper and seam rip the pocket. Her contract is over and she needs to go. And once that's done, you're now ready to cut off your sleeves and basically make your dress. So I took a pair of scissors and cut away the sleeves. I made sure to cut as close to the seam as I possibly could. Do this for the other side as well because you cannot have a one sleeve kind of thing unless that's what you're going for. In that case, you do you, baby girl. I also propped up the collar mostly because I wanted to maximize my space and then I measured the length I would need for my top and I transferred that onto my shirt so it came to 24 centimeters it can be longer or shorter depending on your preference and as you can see when I'm drawing my straight line I'm avoiding that bulky back bit you don't want it in your top so just avoid it so basically all I'm doing is drawing straight lines to mark out my top and my skirt as you can see the bottom of my shirt is curved and I wanted it to be straight so I did draw a straight line across the bottom as well once you have all your straight lines this is basically the simplest thing to do just cut off the bits you need and you are basically two steps closer to finishing your dress I'm kidding we still have a long way to go but just cut along the straight lines you drew make sure you make your lines as straight as you possibly can sometimes I look at my lines and I'm like that's a bit crooked but hey DIYs are made with love they're never perfect so don't fret if yours is imperfect either so as you can see I just cut along the lines and now you have a skirt bit which you need to set aside because we'll work on it later moving on it's now time to make your top bit which is going to be beautiful and shared and first thing I did was I unbuttoned the top bit and then seam ripped the buttons off mostly because they will make sharing very difficult so you don't need them always recycle your buttons you can use them in other projects so don't throw them away and now I'm just going to get rid of that bulky button packet mostly because I do not need that bulkiness you want the shared bit to be super smooth so I recommend you make everything Thing as nice and unbulky as possible so as you saw I just turned my top inside out and then I'm going to sew along the edge this is going to close up that button packet that way you have something that's closed and even at the end so now I just cut through the sides to make sure I had two bits of fabric and now I'm just going to make a rectangle out of this so I just randomly drew straight lines on both sides mostly because that curve is just going to make everything look weird so I made everything as straight as I possibly possibly could. I see the fabric has a lot of stripes and they're so pretty when you see them on camera. Anyway, I just cut off both sides and I had a rectangle and I repeated the same for the other piece of top that we had. So just cut a straight line and make sure you're getting two rectangles out of this. Take your sweet time cutting if you have to, no one's rushing you. So after that's done, you now have two rectangles. One is bigger than the other in my case, but it's okay. We're just going to work with it. So now I'm going to close up one side. As you can see, I just pinned it in place and I'm going to do a straight stitch along that edge. So do a basic straight stitch, always back stitch. Back stitching is a key to heaven in case you are unaware. So I made sure to take out the pins as I was sewing because I realized if you sew over pins, it does create some puckering. So I do recommend you get rid of them. Obviously back stitch because we need to go to heaven at this point. I also surged that edge because this shirt was fraying so much. If you don't have a serger, just do a zigzag stitch along the edge and you'll be fine. So as you can see, we now have a very long bit of fabric. And as you can see, these are the points that we joined together to make this piece of fabric. And now we're going to hem the top bit and we're going to do this just by folding in the fabric twice and doing a basic straight stitch across the top edge. So as you can see, I'm just folding in my fabric and then doing my basic straight 
thread stitch this is super easy to do and honestly makes the top look so neat so just stuck in the frayed fabric you definitely don't want any fraying to be out because when you have fraying and you put your clothes in the washing machine it's just going to go wrong trust me so make sure you're hiding all the fraying and as you can see the top now looks nice and neat at the top edge super beautiful super super beautiful and I'm here for it so this is our top at this point very long and now what I'm doing is I'm marking one centimeters from the top edge ignore the previous marks I decided to change it from two centimeters so just do one centimeters along the entire top edge and join the points with a straight line this is going to be your first line of sharing and having that extra one centimeter will create some ruffles at the top which are super cute so to share I have an in-depth video on how to share but I will give you some tips in this video so as you can see I'm winding elastic thread on my bobbin the trick is to wind it just as you would normal thread do not make it too tight do not make it too loose just act like it's regular thread do not give her special treatment let her know she's just like the common folk and you'll be fine once you're satisfied with the amount of thread on your bobbin just place it back into its case make sure you pull out the elastic thread snip off the excess trust me that bit of excess you need it you need it so bad and replace your bobbin cover and just share as normal so as you can see I'm able to back stitch at the beginning sometimes the elastic thread is too bulky and you can't do that this elastic thread was amazing I did not have any problems sharing with it I will link it down below in case you want to get it it's from Aliexpress so basically just do a basic straight stitch and what the elastic does is it gathers the fabric and that creates that beautiful shared effect so that's what it looks like on the outside and now I'm just going to repeat that until the very bottom of my top so to guide my second line I usually use the previous line as a guide as you can see my presser foot is on the edge of the other line and it's just guiding the next line this makes sure that your sharing is quite equal and even you don't want it to look weird with bigger gaps here and there so definitely use your presser foot to your advantage I promise you you won't regret it so you will need to wind your bobbin a few times mostly because the elastic thread runs out so quickly so make sure you're keeping an eye on the bobbin and wind it when the elastic thread is over so as you can see when sharing I'm just flattening the fabric and doing a basic straight stitch this did take me an hour to do to be honest I was watching a movie I was watching Gone Girl it was so good honestly if you haven't watched it go check it out it's crazy it's crazy but it's really good anyway you're going to be here for a minute so i do recommend you just take some tea listen to a podcast watch a movie whatever it is because sharing is not difficult it's just very time consuming mostly because of all the lines you have to do i don't know how many lines i did i'd say maybe 15 or 20 and yeah that does take a hot minute so yeah just flatten the fabric make sure you're doing your basic straight stitch and once you have your sharing done you have a beautiful shirt top that's a lot of elastic thread to be honest oh my goodness but look at how gorgeous that looks on the outside I really do love sharing and I'm finding ways to incorporate it into my project so stay tuned for that so now to work on the skirt bit I just opened her up and as you can see we have a very wide piece of fabric we're going to use this to our advantage and have a very gathered bit of skirt so for the bottom I'm going to double hem it just to make sure the fabric doesn't fray and my skirt looks nice and neat you're going to do this along the entire bottom edge so it's basically the same thing you did on the top edge of your top just fold in the fabric twice and do a basic straight stitch across the bottom edge this just locks the fabric keeps her in check it's kind of like a prison for the fabric and trust me fraying is your enemy I hate fraying so much it's destroyed some of my most precious projects so please be cautious and make sure you're taking the extra step to make sure nothing frays once the bottom edge is hemmed as you can see it looks super neat super beautiful and the best part is your fabric is going to last way longer which is always a plus so now moving on to the top edge you're going to do a basting stitch all along the edge just to make sure you can gather your fabric so I set my stitch length to the longest length mine was five and now you're just going to pull out the thread make sure you have a lot of hanging thread because you need it to pull when you're gathering your skirt and as you saw I did not backstitch I know I'm always for backstitching but in this case you do not want that you don't want to lock the stitch in place you want to be able to pull it 
so as you can see i'm just doing a very basic straight stitch when you end your sewing as well do not back stitch and make sure you have a lot of hanging thread and now with the thread make sure you take the top thread do not touch the bottom thread because if you even dare touch her trust me this string will break so just deal with the top thread let the bottom thread mind her business and as you can see i'm just pulling on it and gathering the top of the skirt so you will also be here for another hot minute <laughs> this project has so much love in it but it's so time consuming honestly so just gather the skirt and as you can see i'm just pushing the fabric and i did this on both ends just to make sure i had even gathering all throughout my skirt so just pull on the top string then spread out the fabric trust me your string will not break if you don't deal with the bottom thread at all so as you can see now i have my skirt it's kind of starting to look like a skirt and now we need to know if we have the right size of skirt so i just put her down a bit and i brought out my top just to make sure both of my fabrics were even and i placed a chalk and a pair of scissors on the other side mostly because the shirt fabric was folding in so as you can see i had to spread out my gathers you want to make sure your gathered skirt is the same length as your top and once i had that i just made sure everything would fit nice and even and i was joining the two pieces together and once i was sure of that it's not time to close up your top and skirt separately so with the top i made sure the right side was on the inside and as you can see i'm pinning along the edge this is the wrong way out and that's because you do not sew on the right side ever unless you're sharing so once i had my pins in place i'm just going to do a basic straight stitch along that edge Edge to close up my top that way it goes around my body and looks closed unless you want an open concept top which in that case it wouldn't really be a top anyway I just did my basic straight stitch nothing fancy always backstitch if you've been on my channel for a while and you do not backstitch I am ashamed of you I also searched that raw edge mostly because I did not want my fabric fraying on me and once that was done you are done with your top bit of the top wow children are screaming in the background I'm so sorry anyway moving on to closing the skirt all I'm doing is I'm pinning the open edge together just so that I can sew it shut and have a skirt and as you can see it now looks like a skirt so you're just going to do a straight stitch along the pinned edge and that's basically it for your separate pieces I took out my pins I feel like I'm being very basic today just a straight stitch nothing fancy sometimes life is simple we do not need to complicate things all the time so I just took my sweet time did my basic straight stitch and I made sure to back stitch and once I was done my skirt was closed and I now had a skirt and everything is starting to take shape at this point I'm just showing you the stitch you can barely see it anyway this are your two separate pieces your top and your skirt and now it's time to join them together that way you have a dress so all I'm doing is I'm turning the skirt the right way out and I made sure to note the back button packet so that I could align everything and as you can see I'm sliding the skirt into the top so that the right sides are kissing so as you can see the top is the wrong way up but once they're joined everything will be the right side out and I just flipped this around and started pinning the two bits together so definitely take your time and make sure you're pinning in the right place that way when it comes to sewing everything is nice and easy I did have to use a lot of pins for this just to make sure the fabric was really staying in the right place so definitely take your time no one's going to judge you for it and make sure the shirt bit is being attached correctly to the skirt and once everything is pinned and you're happy with it just do a basic straight stitch all the way around so moving on to my sewing machine make sure you back stitch you can back stitch a few times just to make sure everything is nice and secure and now I'm just going to do my basic straight stitch I'm making sure to take out the pins as I sew and I'm just going over the pinned edge just to make sure the skirt will be properly attached to my top so as you can see there's quite a bit of top hanging I did trim it after I was done sewing that that's because the excess fabric was more on the top than the skirt so just sew where you need to sew don't look at anything else just the fact that you like it after you're done sewing your top is now attached to your skirt I made sure to serge the raw edge so that I wouldn't have any fraying as you can see the fabric was already fraying up quite a bit if you do not have a serger just use a basic zigzag stitch and use your overlocking foot and you should be fine it will keep your fabric in check and as you can see now everything looks nice and 
and neat, no fraying in sight. And that is it. You've basically joined your top to your skirt and you now have a dress. You can actually leave it at this in case you don't want to have straps. But in my experience, strapless things struggle to stay up. So I decided I'd make some straps from the remaining sleeve bit. So all I did was I split it open along the seam. I also got rid of the cuff, mostly because I do not need that bulkiness in my life fam. So she had to go, she was at the door. And after you've gotten rid of the cuff, the sleeve is now open and you have a lot of fabric. So I drew two straps, each one inch thick. So I had two inches in total. So I just cut along the lines just to make sure everything was nice and straight. I definitely did take my time with cutting. I am so bad at cutting. I'm so slow at it. I don't know why I'm usually so scared of the scissors, which is silly, but yeah. Anyway, I just cut along the lines to make sure I had two straps and now making them is super, super easy to do. So going to the sewing machine, as you can see, I'm folding in one edge of my strap, folding in the other edge of my strap, and then the two edges, I'm just going to fold them along the middle to make one strap and now you're going to sew along the edge and this will give you a very nice and secure strap. Make sure you're folding in the fabric and tucking in the fraying, that way it does not come out and ruin your strap. So a straight stitch looks neater. I wouldn't recommend you do a zigzag stitch at this point unless your shirt is stretchy material. In that case, I still would advise you to use a straight stitch for the straps. It just looks way neater than a zigzag stitch in my opinion when it's on the straps. So anyway, once you've sewn everything, this is what your strap looks like and you're going to repeat it with the other strap as well. And now you have two beautiful straps to attach to your dress. So I decided to attach my straps two inches from the side seams. So as you can see, I'm just measuring two inches and then placing my strap at that point and pinning it in place. That way I can easily sew it onto my dress. So I did this at all four points just to make sure the straps would go over my shoulder. Make sure the straps fit you properly before sewing them down. And I'm just going to sew along the pins and once you're done, you are done with your dress. Just look at her. This dress is so stunning. I am so in love with how this turned out. I think it's super cute and super summery and will be perfect for my vacation. I will also wear this when I'm at home doing dishes or doing the laundry. You can wear this during winter time. It's totally up to you. Wear whatever you want. It's a free world, baby, so express your freedom. And in case you find the dress a bit too short, just maybe I'd suggest you use a longer shirt or you can add a ruffle at the bottom just to add some length but do not judge other people who like short stuff I do get a lot of comments sometimes like oh my god that's super short I'm okay with it if I'm okay with it then it's really none of your business I think women and men we should be allowed to wear whatever we feel comfortable in as long as it's not bordering on indecency and doesn't look funny and you're not showing junk I don't see why people get so bothered about people wearing tight and short stuff like if they're comfortable in it then that's totally okay. Leave them alone. Anyway, I did not mean for that to be a rant at all. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed watching this video. I hope you'll attempt making this dress because it's so cute. It would be a crime not to make it. Other than that, I really hope I catch you in my next video. Until then, stay safe guys and have a fabulous week. See you next time. Bye.